yes we are back back again in train sim world 3 back again to do some more routes in the class 700 uh released well today as i'm streaming this um uh, so yesterday we did a couple of runs uh, and did one of the scenarios. Today we're going to do a couple more of the scenarios, see what we can get up to in the 700. Uh, one of which is going to be in snow. That's going to be interesting. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then hello. Uh, this going out on a day. I don't know anymore. It's, it could be Wednesday, it could be it's Saturday, it could be one or the other. There's seven of them. It's going out on one of them. Uh, there'll be links in the description below to where you can get this route for train sim. Route? Train? For train sim world three so it's saying root uh there'll be a link down there to the twitch page as well where you can watch me live on the twitchy uh there'll be a link down there also to the discord type server thing um so yes we will jump straight in uh we will choose a, a route southeastern high speed we'll do a scenario um in the in the 700 we did a city delays one yesterday um entering work at rochester it means the reduced service terminating the strood so we could do Dawn of the Shed. Clear the tracks around Faversham as the leaves start to fall. Maybe not. City showers. Where's the snowy one? Uh, return back to Dartford. Design Road City Skip. That one. Let's do that then, shall we? Let's start straight with the snow one. What can possibly happen? Everything. Everything can happen. Uh, even it's Trent and Ethan, by the way. Enjoy my time off. I had a fantastic week off. Welcome to Gravesend. Due to an issue at Faversham, there are some delays. You'll be taking over a service to Raynham. Okay. I'm guessing I'm waiting on the uh, the train. Wait for the train to arrive. Okay. I'm going to do a thing when that goes. Come on in. You're going to go text? Because I want to take a screenshot. Are you just going to... Thank you. There we go. Uh, hi, CN. So we got to wait for the train to arrive in a direction of which I don't know. This way, I'm guessing. And here comes the train. Unusual. You don't really find them on train tracks. Trains. I like the fact that the snow isn't falling under here. Because... But well, it wouldn't do, would it? Hello, train. Um, excuse me. I'm, I'm. Hello. I. I should. I. I. I um. Okay. Follow the markers to board the train. What? Okay. Excuse me, driver type person coming through. Coming, coming through at the at the way. Thank you. Uh, get on board. Sit in the driver's seat, because I am driver. Okay, uh, load passengers. The thing in the forwards. Have we got the lights on the uh, on the thing with the white one with the lights on? Daylight. Uh, we should be good. Do the thing with the locking. Okay. Is it locked that one as well? Let's have a look. Because I left it open. Does it actually lock it? Uh, okay, I think we should... Okay, no, alright, alright, we'll just... No, it's not going to let me, is it? Well, then I'll lock the door. Fine. Wait, you didn't tell me to lock the door, did you people? Okay, we'll move then. There's movement. Movement is happening. I'm not scared of the snow. I'm not scared of the snow. I'm not scared of the snow. Yeah, this may take a while. Let's open the uh, the windows. Because it's, you know, it's snowing. It's not like we're going to get cold or anything. Right. 4.3 miles to Hyam. Stopping, I think, is going to be the challenge with this. Starting, fine ish, slowly. Hi, do we need wellies if we are playing in the snow? 
Uh, no, Snoke, Snoke, Snokey. Stokey. Uh, thank you very much, Stokey. Uh, ten of the months. That's many. That's, that's many of the months. That's more than nine. I know. I can count. Uh, thank you very much. Right, so I'm going to try and keep the speed down. Put lots of sand down. Nah, it'd be alright. I'm just going to... I don't care about being late. I just don't want to be sliding through the platforms. Although I attempt to get somewhere up towards track speed. We'll see if we can do it. It's going to be fun to do the stopping thing. Oh great, just as I thought I was getting near track speed, it increases. This is going to be interesting. Okay, he was going really quickly. He's certainly not going to stop at uh, the place we just left. Which was, you know, the place. The one we just left. That place. I'm almost panicking already because we've only got three miles to go. I should put my whippers on. Uh, whippers. Uh, oh, no. Interval. That'll do. Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Okay, how far past the platform do we think I'm actually going to slide? The cha-cha slide. I mentioned that yesterday. I'm just thinking about a mile out I'll just start doing really gentle braking if I was a passenger I'd rather get there safely and late than well it's not going to be on time is it because it's going to be going to slide straight through how was the new forest uh, really nice weather was lovely Any day we had a bit of rain was Saturday. Uh, right, hi, I'm... Right, so we've got to line speed. So it's not like I'm going in, like, slowly or anything. It's just at what point I brake. Because it is going to do the slippy slidey thing in the snow. Does look damn good. So you do a couple of scenarios tonight. Tomorrow we're going to come back and uh, try it on some lines that it shouldn't be on. So we're going to do London to Brighton. And then do um, the East Coast way. I'm starting to slow down. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We're actually not bad on time either. Bring it down a little bit more. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, this is too easy. Actually stopped short. Look at that. Easy peasy. Snow is no problem at all. I'm just too good. I think that's what it is. I am. I am just too good. Or oh, that was just me just being really gentle, really careful. Locking doors. Doors are being locked. Right, Strood next. Has it rained? Uh, yeah, it did a bit earlier. Right, so gentle on the acceleration. Uh, Skippy, thanks for the um, resub, by the way. Did that between streams. Thank you very much. 29 months. That's a long time. All right, now we can give it some of the beans. Why have we got snow in the tunnel? That's slightly concerning. Is that tunnel leaking? Oh, there we go. Snow has finished. Right, let's get all the beans. We got a 15 mile an hour in two miles and the stops in two miles. So again, it's the same thing as before. When do I slow down? I think that was quite gentle. You know, we are running a little bit late, but you know, it'll be fine. I don't know where we're going or how much of the route we're doing, whether we're going around, down and turning around and coming back again. I haven't really looked. I just jumped in the train and drove. A great chat. What? Really? You've been drinking? Nah, thank you very much, Skippy, for your uh, long-term support. Right, so we should be fine in Le Tunnel. That's what it's called, it's French. That was bad, Tom. Even for you, that was bad. Right, there's a mile. Let's put some brakes on. Although, obviously, we shouldn't have any traction problems here inside the tunnel. It's when we exit the tunnel is when we get the issue. And it's definitely, a, a, as tunnels go, it's quite tunnely. It's quite long. I see a light. Well, it's not a light. I see daylight at the end of the tunnel. But yeah, I definitely really like this train. I said, well, um, we'll use it again tomorrow. And then we'll give it a rest for a little while. I'm going to be speeding now as well, aren't I? Right, into Strud. So far, snow not causing me an issue. And we're only, what, probably 30 seconds late?
It's like I've got my umbrella up because of the snow. Have you ever used an umbrella in the snow? I don't think I'd ever use an umbrella. It's just another thing to carry around with you and lose. Yeah, I definitely slowed down way too early. Tunnel, I nice had a canal running through it. Oh, okay. Well, there's a thing. Yeah, I, I rarely even put like a hood up or anything. I'll just get wet. I will. I'm known to wear a baseball cap. If I'm going out in the rain, but uh, I just you just just get wet, didn't you? I've definitely come in there really slowly, haven't I? I'll just stop there. See, that's a good place to get off. All these poor people right down the bottom of the train. It's like I've got to walk in the snow all the way to the exit. I'm still not sure what I think about having real adverts. It's like it's a Virgin Media ad over there. It's like, really? I'm not convinced. Uh, right, Rochester is next. Alright, let's see if we can get a bit more beans. Can we get out of here without any wheel slip? Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying the the train. It's very impressive. Did get slightly confused by the uh, AWS cutting me off last night. Apparently, you've got to press something on the screen, so we now know. But yeah, it's really well done. So waiting on Crispy to do a, uh, a livery for it. So I'm sure we'll end up with a pride one at some point. <clears throat> do I use real ad advert mods on Truck Sim? No. Real company names, yes. But not adverts. Same thing, I suppose. You're advertising a company. So try and keep the speed down. Making our way into Rochester. In the snowy type conditions. It does look good. I'm going to try and avoid doing a night one. Although it does look really good at night. Obviously nothing to see. Nothing to see here. Move along. But we will attempt another scenario after this one. Breaking. Slowly breaking. I feel like driving in the snow, I suppose. you just got to be gentle and keep the speed down and not over-brake and not over-accelerate. Same difference with a train. And, yeah, we're only about 45 seconds late. Well, like the one yesterday where I spatted right at the end. I did it on purpose, obviously, just to, you know, just, you know, otherwise, <coughs> if I come across as too perfect, people think there's something wrong. <coughs> so I've got to show a few, a few flaws and uh, imperfections for, from time to time. Otherwise, it comes across a big edit. You know, I could do these, get 100% on everything, but, you know, I purposely have to make mistakes. <coughs> Thank you. 
Uh, right, Chatham next. Trying to avoid wheel slip, <clears throat> if we can. A lot of folks got snow build up on the front. So yeah, so far, snow, not a problem. <coughs> exactly. People, you know, ex would expect professionalism, -ism. professional, you know, the good thing. You know, otherwise you have to live up to that expectation, wouldn't you? So, I am this good, I just come across as an idiot. I can maintain that easier than trying to maintain a higher standard all the, all the time. You know, d don't give everything your best effort all the time, because people expect it. I haven't seen many trains coming the other way yet. I've only seen one. <coughs> what are we? 12.26. It's not like we'd be on a reduced timetable or anything. Is this another tunnel? It looks quite tunnely. Oh, now we get an increased speed limit. Okay, fine. <coughs> we'll do the speeding up then. On strike. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, probably. Well, so far, other than it looking good, it hasn't really caused me any issues. Um, I generally am one that will break early anyway. So this is uh, absolutely fine. <coughs> when life gives you potatoes, make crisps. I'm not sure you'd have potatoes. Making your own crisps, that's a lot of work, and then you go to shop and buy a bag. Although, obviously, <coughs> you get about three crisps now in a bag of crisps. can't say I'm a fan of the livery. <clears throat> it's quite, well, I think boring is the word. It's not, you know, an overly exciting livery, is it? Uh, locking doors. Right, Gillingham next. Where snow not causing an issue. Uh, where are we going to? So, Gillingham, Raynham, stop. Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Higham, Gravesend, Dartford. Oh, so we're going up and coming back again. Okay. We're not going all the way. Shame, really. Oh, that looks nice. That does look nice. <coughs> Twain, indeed. Well spotted there, Peanut. Observational skills, you know, unmatched. One of those type of trains. <laughs> An 
observational genius. Well, there's a title. You should have your own business card printed. <laughs> right, mile to go. Hope you got an HST. I was disappointed on the last HST I was on. Not because of the HST-ness, but because of the fact that the carriage had been upgraded where they'd shoved more seats in. So they were the most uncomfortable seats in the world with no legroom. So yeah, it was like, eh, bitterly disappointed by it. Sheffield. Why do you want to go to Sheffield? Yes, but you're a tiny human being, aren't you? For us, you know, normal sized people. Right, we are now approaching Gillingham. Oh, that looks nice. Five foot nine, thank you. So short then. <coughs> Breaking. Breaking. Five foot nine short. What's what's five foot six? Dwarf. Average. Not saying it. Not saying it. Five foot nine in heels. <laughs> I'm six foot nine in heels. If I'm feeling brave. I've arrived at Gillingham. Have a nice few days off. I had a really, really enjoyable few days off. Tiring. Uh, lots of train journeys, um, but so yeah, really, really enjoyable. Right, so now we got to turn around and go back. Wait for it to tell me what to do, otherwise I'll be all ahead of myself. Lock doors, okay. Stop at Raynham. Oh, we're not going back here. Okay. It talks about a train vegetable and one pops up. Look. Okay, it must be Raynham then. We're turning around. I was, I was getting ready to turn around there. I guess not. We will carry on. Okay, 2.8 miles. It is a song, turn around. <laughs> Ethan's a carrot. Well, they're quite tiny as well. I should be doing a speeding up thing. Alright, let's give it a beans. See if we can get up to line speed. 60 mile an hour. So we've got five minutes to do two and a half miles. Ah, we should be fine. Uh, was it Bonnie Tyler? It was Bonnie Tyler. Watch my speed. Ah, it'll be fine. Although we've got a yellow now. So we'll keep an eye on this yellow first. 
still see nothing else come the other way. If we get a red, it could be interesting, so I'm going to do the slow down thing. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, uh, back with more of this, because, you know, three nights in a row, why not? Uh, what's tomorrow? Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday night, we got some OMSI. Uh, Friday night, we should be playing with our balls, uh, doing golfing with idiots. Um, Saturday night, I have got something planned. Uh, I will announce that on Saturday day uh, and then Sunday we're back on the farm so back to a normal streaming schedule this week I haven't got the AWS on crispy isn't here to tell me off Right, so we'll slow it down into Raynham. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a name. Uh, we should call you Cat. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. I see we're about to witness a spad. No, no, it'll be fine. I can stop. I have every confidence in me and my inability to stop. Don't really want to go sliding through a red. You're all wanting me to do it. I know you are. You're all hoping I was going to come herring into a platform and just slide all the way beyond it. And it changes. All right, so we got a twenty five anyway, so this point is going too quick. I'm not actually f sure if I'm a fan of that noise, you know. It does get a bit grating after a while. Over we go. And over again. And into Raynham. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm slowly warming towards Train Sim World 3 more than Train Sim Classic. Um, I'm just really enjoying Train Sim World 3. There's so many routes and so many trains now. You can pretty much never get bored of it. You know, I do wish we had longer routes, of course. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Shut down this cab and change ends. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Uh, right, so got to go break into full service. That into neutral. Um, lights into tail. And master key to off. And then go to the other end. So if you haven't seen the interior of this train end, we'll have a walkthrough. Um, it's very well done. I do like these displays showing us um, where we're going next. So it does say it's 2019, the 7th of December 2019, but we'll have a walk through, cut through first class. All right, see all the way down. That is really cool. Those poles are a pain in the backside, but. Hang on, did I, did I shut the doors? Or they opened again? 
No matter what I do, I can't avoid the the poll. 2019 a good year. Was 2019 a good year? Yeah, I suppose it was. Before the whole uh, event happened. Okay. Right, let's open the windows. Okay, train lights to day. Uh, lock doors. Uh, you can now begin the service to Dartford. Okay. Off we go back out into the snow. Yeah, I obviously I'm spending time with Ethan the last sort of week on and off trains. I, I, I'm still not sure how I feel about knowing what the train is, knowing how busy each carriage is, um, knowing to a certain extent why you're delayed. What was wrong with just turning up at the platform and going, oh yeah, your train's like three minutes late, and it pulling in and you just get on it? There are some things with technology that I just think maybe it was better when life was just a little bit simpler and there wasn't this need to always know everything. Yeah, there's some good American stuff in this, freight-wise, anyway. Uh, I'm just not a fan of uh, American freight. I do like the American passenger stuff in this. Uh, right, let's put my wipers on. So we've got to make our way back now. Gillingham is next. Yeah, it does look really good in the snow. Yeah, but then I would have just walked up and down the train to find a quieter carriage. I don't know, it, you know, each to their own. Sometimes it's nice just to not be connected and not know. We all got around the country fine. You turned up at the, you know, you turned up at the station ten minutes before your train. If the train was late, you waited. He just hoped that you made your connection when you got to where you were connecting, if you were connecting. And if you missed it, you wait for the next one. Right, 1.6 miles to Gillingham. we stop without sliding that's the key thing oh god yeah now I don't use city mapper one of the worst apps I've ever tried to use in my life Apart from threads, of course, which even like a week in as we are, still let me access it. So uh, I tried it again today. I thought, what if I can get on it? No. So I've officially given up with that now. Right, breaking into Gillingham. I really love the view. Problem is, spending time in this thing getting into any other train now with like the letterbox window so the one one fifty is one five eights that stupid thing on the uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow route they're all just gonna feel I don't know just really odd 
HST just reminds me of being like the electric version of the HST with this lovely view in the central seating position. Uh, crispy. We are breaking rather gently into Gillingham. So far, not one single bit of wheel slip. This may be the point, though. Oh no, it might be right. Haven't overrun a single one. Not say not a single bit of wheel slip. I've been going quite gently. Could be George. Uh, yes, Crispy. Right, loading passengers. Locking doors. Mm. Right, Chatham next. It does look good in the snow. It really does look good in the snow. No, exactly. I never run overrun a platform. Never been heard of. So you can do a couple of scenarios tonight, uh, and then tomorrow night we'll take it on um, London to Brighton see how it goes so we can get a bit uh, flat out into is a tunnel of love uh, no we're doing snow now so I haven't got to do it tomorrow Well, yeah, it's a bit of an issue, isn't it, when you get snow in the tunnel. Uh oh. Okay, no, it might be alright. We got a 30 coming up. So make sure you break for that. So we made the 30 okay. Yeah, this is easy. Easy peasy. Snow, not a problem. Snow, 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 snow. Where's that from? Is that from White Christmas? Could be. When's Ethan at mine again? I've got absolutely no idea. Christmas, maybe. Um, breaking. More breaking. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, simple. I 
I love the fact that uh, it doesn't see it falls in the tunnel yet it doesn't fall under the platform canopy it's like yeah they do need a bit of work on where the snow falls right Rochester which I'm trying not to say with an American accent Rochester Yeah, as long as you're gentle on the acceleration and you're gentle on the braking, snow doesn't cause a problem. Okay, into another tunnel. Worcester. Worcester. So the Americans can't say Worcestershire sauce, can they? Worcestershire sauce. No, Worcestershire. I was emailing someone from America today. Um, and uh, I had to tell them to print something out in colour. And I spelt colour, obviously, the British way. I wonder if they looked at it and went, huh, but you spelt that wrong. Yeah. Not sure the hyper was just sauce. Uh, good on a bit of uh, beans on toast. Or in a bit of tomato soup. I don't know why I'm breaking this early. Sauce on soup. Yeah, it's a bowl of tomato soup, a bit of Worcester, Worcester sauce on it. Then stir it in. Oh, yeah. Breaking. Breaking. A bit odd, says the person who used to have crumpets with every meal. soup tomato Heinz tomato soup I'm completely happy with that Heinz tomato soup and white bread sorted which is why I've got about 12 tins in my cupboard Indeed, in other words, we take no responsibility if you slip over. All right, Strood next. Yeah, this is easy snow. I like a bit of mulligatawny. That's quite nice. Okay, so you've got 20 mile an hour limit in 400 yards. So we'll do the slowy down thing a little tiny bit. It's a really well modelled uh, train. Stood. Got no, we could have gone and got bread. Oh, 
walk to the shop, get bread, walk back. Simple. Sausage sandwich. I, normally my uh, Saturday and Sunday morning uh, breakfast is a sausage sandwich. Right, slowing down into Trude. Can we make the whole thing without any wheel slip? Not bad, four yards over, I'll take that. Not a tricky scenario at all. Right, lock doors. Hi, M is next. Slowly. Just slowly out of here. Then we got up to a seventy, two and a half miles. So going back to Dartford. We are running a little bit late, but you'd always expect that in the snow. If I was waiting for a train and it was really deep snow, I'd be like, "Yeah, it's fine. I don't care." How late I get there, as long as I get there. Right, go, go, go. The fullest of powers. Yeah, I think it sounds better when you can't hear the the motor noise when it becomes or sounds more like a normal train. So I think it'd be interesting to try it on the um, London to Brighton, see how it goes. the braking a little bit later.
It's actually breaking okay. It's actually doing really, really well in the snow. I'm being over cautious. Thing is, if we're doing a normal route now without snow, I'm going to be trying to break the same as I would be in snow. Stop. 498. Due to delays, we're driving straight to Dartford from Gravesend. Okay. Due to my delays or someone else's delays? I guess we'll wait and see. Sound the horn as you pass stations to alert passengers. Oh, okay. Well, surely there'll be an announcement thing going, the next train coming through is not stopping at this station. Stand clear of the platform and all that. Uh, lock doors. Mm. Right, 4.4 .4 miles end to Gravesend. Give it some of the beans. Right, driven 70 miles. Right, so you should be able to get up to a reasonable amount of speed now if we're going straight to Gravesend. The stopping at Gravesend could be a challenge. Definitely not a lot of other traffic on this. So three miles from Gravesend, then it's all the way to Dartford. Maybe we just do, I don't know, we'll have a look and see what the other scenarios are, but maybe we just do a timetable run. About 50 mile an hour in just over a mile. Yeah, I think this could do quite well on London to Brighton. It's just a shame we can't use it with other AI traffic. So if we do do that tomorrow, then uh, we've got to 
Um, got to have it with no other trains. Alright, so slow it down to the 50. And half a mile, we got a 30. To Gravesend, the end of the grave. easy in the snow. So it's supposed to be this bed and this will be the one that I slide on. No, I think we're okay. So Gravesend, and then finally on to Dartford. Can we do them all without slipping and sliding once? Tomorrow, by the way, back with more of this. Um, where we try on some other routes. Uh, Thursday night, we got some OMSI. Friday, uh, we got some golfing with idiots. Uh, Saturday night, um, mm. got something. And then Sunday lunchtime uh, farming. And then uh, normal streaming schedule uh, returns uh, next week. Oh, yeah. Really? Really? Justin Bieber, super... F okay. W why would you publicly... Why? But thanks for the follow. Okay. So on to Dartford, our final stop. Power. Yeah, I might just do a normal timetable run after this rather than do a scenario. Let you lot do the scenarios so you can have the fun of them. I'll just do an end-to-end -end timetable. So you should get to see the whole run. I think we're pretty much done on this one anyway, but in the snow.
does look really good in the snow. Definitely a worthwhile purchase as well. If anyone wants a decent electric train for Train Sim World 3, I can definitely recommend it. Three point nine miles. Three point eight miles. Hi Daniel, doing okay? Oh, I've got to do the horny thing. This train is not stopping here. It has gone a bit snowy. Trying to keep the speed down. I got a mile. I got to slow it down to 50. So I'll slow down a little bit early. Oh yeah, it's slightly damp out there for me currently. Okay, so we've also got a yellow. Which I'm guessing that'll be a red when we get to Dartford. Hi Michael. So double yellow, yeah, single yellow, red would be at the end of the platform then. Alright, a bit of coasting, actually a little bit of break. and maintain this speed. Right, double yellows again. What are the brakes like in the snow? I haven't slid at all. Yeah, I've got no more uh, train stuff planned now, um, Daniel. I am done with trains for a while. Alright, yellow. So 
so red in 600 yeah it's gonna be in the platform so we're okay as long as we can actually stop and not slide through the red we'll be okay he says speeding So yeah, so thinking snow might be really bad, it's actually absolutely fine. Didn't actually slide or get any wheel slip once on the whole journey. Okay, and ended up a minute late at the end, but that's not bad, is it, for snowy conditions? Well done, let's see how you did. Quite badly, I should imagine. According to their statistics. Hour and ten minutes. So twelve twenty-four, twelve twenty-eight, twelve thirty-two, twelve thirty-nine, twelve minute late there, minute late there, two minutes late there, minute late there. Two minutes, a minute, end up a minute late. That's not bad. I gained a little bit of the time back that I lost. That was all right. So yeah, snow, not a problem. Right, we'll do a four line run now then. Um, we'll do a four times table run then, the 700. Um, we'll go... Um, let's do something... Around commuter time, Rainham to Luton. That's going to be the same thing. Rainham to Dartford. That's one we just done. So okay, so we go Luton to Rainham then. Dartford to Rainham. We'll go the other way around. So 11th of July. So the date's the same. Uh, let's do that. So a full run. All right, unlock doors. Master key on, into forward, window down, window down. We'll even put the AWS on this time. Okay, lights to day light. not really a filling meal, is it? A sausage sandwich. Right, so starting here at Dartford then, making our way to Raynham, a four-line run in the sunshine, rather than, um, you can't be bothered doing chips. You can't have chips and sausage. You can't have chips and sausage sandwich. Add a pizza. And now some jelly babies. Thirty seconds to go until we depart. Brown sauce uh, should only ever be on a bacon sandwich. That's the only place in life for brown sauce. some spotlights on we'll illuminate ourselves when we go through the tunnel we are now waiting for the time to be that lock doors all right stone crossing uh, All of the powers. 
So a 20 limit on the way out of here. So four line run all the way from Dartford back to Raynham. Dirty fries. No. Don't we do a lot of, don't have a lot of chips. At least I don't for a period of eating a load of French fries. A couple of last time I had chips at home. Alright, we gotta wait for the speed limit to do the speed limit -y thing. I do like the four six five. Maybe we need to try that again next time. Right, power. I think actually this is a brilliant new model train. I'm not knocking it at all, but that motor noise I think would get annoying after a while. That's why I'm quite I'm glad when we get above the speed where it becomes well where it sort of stops. It's like the stupid noise that electric cars make at low speeds. Right, miles to go to Stone Crossing. Oh, yeah, the Voyagers that came in when we were out about last weekend. God, that thing is noisy. We were at Gloucester on Saturday. Saturday when the train from Edinburgh to Penzance came through. That's a hell of a journey. Kind of wish I'd have done my Penzance trip a little bit now. I gave it up because I didn't want to do it on my own. But a little bit of me now has got a tad sort of amount of regret that I didn't actually do it. So I kind of want to book it for my week off in September. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have any regrets in life. God, I've got loads. Uh, unlock doors. That's a noise. I wonder if this scenario is going to have more other trains. We've had a couple going to the way. Are we going to see any more? One hopes so. Locking doors. Green hive for blue water. Right, all of the power. Go, go, go. Yeah, so tomorrow night we'll take this on its final outing uh, for a little while. We'll take it from London to Brighton and then along the East Coast way. Give it a bit of a, uh, a send-off before returning to normal, uh, trundling away around uh, some of the routes going forward. Uh, I am making a change to the streaming schedule from now on. 
Um, won't be any trains in World 3 at lunch times on Saturdays. Um, so it's going to be um, potentially if I am doing um, train sim classic then it could be Tuesday train sim Wednesday train sim so one being train sim world one's being train sim classic but I will post details in a discord server of what the streaming schedule is Hey, that's not bad. Going to Taunton. I really enjoyed being down in Devon uh, last Thursday. Thursday. Had a very brief pit stop in uh, in Paynton and to Goodrington. Um does make me want to go down there and spend like a weekend i love totness and Paynton and going to uh uh to brixham is really nice and having a wander around so uh yeah going to these places for you know a short period of time and the line round to exmouth was really nice it does make me want to go back there and spend a bit longer so there could be some uh trips down there and a bit of an overnight stay situation I'm trying to get there and back in a day um, and spend time is a pain in the backside, especially all the way down into Devon. You know, Cardiff wasn't so bad. So yes, so it could be that uh, there might be a few weekends where I'm uh, staying away on a Saturday night somewhere. Right, Swanscombe, next station. It does look really nice. Even when it's not snowing, it does look really nice. Does the station have swans? You never know. Yeah, the, the times we've been, it's like four times now, I think. We've been down to um, to Cardiff. Um, and it's just, it's a really nice place. Um, even travelling out on some of the little remote lines and some of the remote places, just so nice. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And literally an hour from me on the train. So, you know, ideal to get to for a day. All right. So we are, uh, why are people jumping out the doors on that side? They get trying to get out the wrong side. Sounds like a you problem, Crispy. Well, you know the solution. I'm not telling you. Stopping. Unlocking the doors. Uh, we went to Penarth. Um, not this time. Last time. We went to the bay as well. Uh, really impressed by the bay. First time we went there. Um, walked around to where the Parliament uh, building is and just sat overlooking um, overlooking like the inlet. Oh, it's so nice. We had that, that the line to Exmouth um, was just stunning. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Right, North Fleet next. So yeah, so definitely I think I need to spend a, f a couple of weekends down in Devon. Um, spend a bit longer around, say, Totnes, Brixham, Goodrington. Um, 
not a lot down in Kingsweir, but you know, just doing a bit of exploring. We literally, you know, had a whistle stop tour. Uh, doesn't really appeal to me, this whole Snowdonia thing. It was close to it. And again, one other place I want to go back to is the Pontecycle Aqueduct. Um, so, Chirk. Um, that sort of area uh, where I went a few years ago. Um, but never really wanted to do Snowdonia because you can walk up Snowdonia you know, pushing a pushchair. It's not exactly a challenge, is it? It's not really an accomplishment. It's just very, I don't know, very touristy. Right, North Fleet. Breaking. More of the more of the breaking. Not doing one of the narrow gauge was. I don't know, I there's a Talaklin. That looks quite interesting. Um again, I'm not a fan of Steam. I don't get the appeal. <laughs> So I wouldn't, not say I wouldn't go on a line because it's Steam, but I just don't get the, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I'm definitely, I don't say I'm not a fan. I, I think the people that do the preserve railways and stuff, and these societies, the volunteers, put a lot of effort into preserving, you know, a couple of miles of track and um, make their money from people going for days and doing and travelling on them. But I do think sometimes it's a shame that, you know, you've got these, you know, there's going to be HSTs on preserve railways that are going to spend their life doing like 20 miles an hour, trundling up and down two miles of track. I think it... Again, I'm not a train geek. Um, it's about the, the travel for me. But I'd rather go on a, a proper train line to experience going on a train rather than one on a preserve line at a limited speed and for like a couple of miles. That could be just be me. Alright, so we've got... Gravesend in 1.6, got a 30 limit in 1.3. Yeah, I think if, if there was more opportunities for, you know, a rail tour with, you know, an old HST or something going at proper line speed or pretty close to proper line speed um, that I could see the appeal of because you're you're getting to experience the train as it was if you didn't do it the first time round so yeah to have a steam train at line speed you're going to get more of the experience than you would do just chugging along at 20 miles an hour so it's a shame that the you know preserve lines have got these speed limits um, but, you know, I, I get why they're there. I don't know I'm going this slow. I seem to have slowed far too early. At least we're not snowing. Oh, well, we'll stick with this now. This point is speeding up. And you got to speed it up. And then you've got to slow it down. Right, so very slowly into Gravesend. Yeah, the blue, the blue Pullman. Um, but that's expensive, isn't it? Well, again, it's 
after going on that HST back in Cardiff the other month, which I was solely disappointed by because of the fact that, as I said earlier, they revamped the carriage so that there were more seats in it that were bloody uncomfortable. Um, it's just like, if it's as it was, if the carriages are as they were when the train was there originally, then I'd be like, okay, I can see the appeal. But if they've been upgraded, then I'm like, mm, yeah, no thanks. I definitely slowed down way too early, didn't I? Oops. Anyway, into Gravesend. Breaking. And stop. So yeah, we'll do this on London's Brighton tomorrow albeit with no other traffic, but um, see how it goes on that higher speed run. And then we'll take it from Brighton down the East Coastway, pretty much separate, well actually I might do the other way around, I might do the East Coastway into Brighton, then out of Brighton, back to London. So we'll do the high speed run second. Wait until 17.50 and zero of the seconds. Okay. With no other traffic, am I sure? Yes. We are waiting for Christmas. Lock doors. Uh, that side. Nope, that side. Right, hi, I'm 4.4 miles. Right, get to do a bit of a, a run this time then. Still think it is quite a boring paint job on this. like no imagination and no thought went into it at all it's like right what's the cheapest paint job we can do uh no it wasn't it was just saying it, it is a boring paint job oh speed Well, you know what you need to do then, Crispy, don't you? Get yourself some BR stuff. Right, 3.6 miles to Hyam, making our way back to Raynham. Power. A lower price is always good. Cost is king.
Yeah, I definitely like this commanding driving position. It is really good. As I said, sitting in anything else now, looking out of the little porthole window is going to feel really weird. Alright, 1.6, 1.5 miles to go. That 66 has been there since yesterday. I'm surprised they run out of fuel by now. Although, actually, they hold a lot of fuel, don't they? Ah, a train. it's on or well, the 66 you can hear it and you can see it had some smoke coming out of it as well Breaking. All of the braking, which you don't actually need to do because the brakes are really good. Who's fiddling with your or your bank? You know what you need to do, Crispy? Switch banks. It's quite simple. You have so many issues with them. Just move banks. Lock doors. Mm. Right, stood in 2.5 miles. So we got Strood, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, and Raynham to go. And when we get to Raynham, we shall end. So yeah, tomorrow we've got more of this. Um, we're going to say we're going to take it on London to Brighton and see how it fares. Uh, and then that's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. Thursday we've got some OMSI. Hopefully that works better than it did last time. Uh, Friday, uh, golfing with idiots. Uh, Saturday night, uh, something. Uh, and then Sunday, back on the farm. And then. Uh, normal streaming schedule next week uh well monday to friday anyway i right, got a 15 limit before we get to strood
through the tunnel again. Not as many tunnels in this. What's the? Is it Midland Main Line that's got some stupid tunnels in it? I need to do that again. Need to maybe I'll do that um, next week. Go back to Midland Main Line. Have some HST runs after spending a bit of time in electrics. Maybe go about some diesel fun. Slowing it all the way down to a 15, if I can. <coughs> ah, I braked a little bit early. It's all right. Out into the sunshine. Yeah, a bit of a tight curve, hence the 15 mile an hour limit. definitely overslowed, not compensating for the fact we've got a bit of a hill going up. left. It's heading back towards Raynham. A couple more stops to go. We're going off down there to the left by the looks of things. But I want to go straight on. Wait until... Oh, okay, that was easy. Actually, on time. Rochester. Down there where that's coming from. Yeah, unless, Michael, it's on whatever underground line it is. The northern line? One of them is just really loud screeching. Wow, they're close together. Blimey! That was literally one behind the other. Yeah, they were really close behind. B 
ping. Right, 500 jars to Rochester. I've got no idea what trains I've been on. Certainly in the last week, I've been on and off so flipping many. I've got, I couldn't tell you what half of them were. 800s. I know that. It's Cardiff and back. I've got I, I, 158, maybe 150, probably. And some other things. I don't know. Welcome to Rochester, unlocking doors. Yeah, I watched a video yesterday. A guy's trip across to uh, Jersey uh, by Condor Ferries on the slow ferry. It's like 10 and a half hour crossing. Uh, I used to do that when I was a kid. I used to do Weymouth to uh, Jersey overnight, about 11 hours. I loved it. I love a long, slow ferry crossing. Um, so there's lots of things on my list that I want to do this year. Um, including uh, the Spain trip still. Um, so yes, it's not about trains for me. It's about the traveling. And I definitely want to do uh, uh, more traveling. Chatham next. If I was braver, I probably would just get myself one of those action camera things and just vlog it. But I'm, I'm not that brave. And that does involve, you know, doing the editing thing afterwards. And I don't do editing. Bing. Well, no, because there's, there's a few people that do it and you don't actually see them. You, they've got the camera in front of them. I'm, you know, I'm not concerned about... I I don't like... Well, I don't watch any gaming content. Um, you see people in the corner of the screen when they're gaming. It, it puts me off because you're watching them and not what they're doing. So I'd rather see the thing that they're doing rather than see them you know i can imagine sometimes although the, the chat's not too like off-putting um so yeah i'm not a fan of having a your, plus you know some days i just stick on a crappy old t-shirt and you know if i haven't shaved for a few days no one wants to look at me Come to Chatham. Uh, my sentiments exactly, Michael. I watched this stuff before he started talking. Uh, I used to really like it because you'd watch it and then he put the text on the screen. I was like, I, I quite like this. Then he started talking and I was a bit like, hmm, okay, you started talking now. And then yeah, he took his missus with him and that was like, no, nah, I'm done. Wait until 18.08 and 30 seconds. I'm sure we can wait 30 seconds. That's why, yeah, I, I know people don't watch the content for me. Um, although I can be a little bit odd. Uh, uh, the multiplayer stuff I quite like doing because 
you do get that um, interaction. You know, you get um, Ed and Dorset arguing with each other. Um, and it's, it can be really amusing. So I, I like doing a mix of the single player stuff and the multiplayer stuff. But yeah, there are certain people when they change their content, I'm like, nah, I'm done. Same with Hubnut. Absolutely loved Hubnut. When he started out, it was really interesting content. You know, cheap cars. And he went to Croatia. He did a brilliant tour around New Zealand. Um, and uh, came back at a missus who now appears in his videos. And I'm like, nah, done. And I think his viewership's actually gone down because of it. So, you know, if you've got a dynamic that's working, don't change it. I gave up on all that years ago, obviously. I don't care anymore. But, you know, if I was looking at numbers and things, you know, I wouldn't have had Dorset on the streams because, you know, who can cope with that? <laughs> Love you, Dorset. Right, Gillingham is next in 1.3 miles. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll catch Dorset in his uh, uh, either playing with his balls or in his tractor uh, up this weekend, or both in his tractor playing with his balls. You never know. You have to live with you. Uh, yeah, welcome to my world, Dorset. Can he still climb in the tractor at his age? He got a stand of stair lift on the outside of the tractor. Be like, um, was it Arthur two? I think it was Arthur 2, which is brilliant, where they go and look at the apartment. And you've got the guy going to show them the apartment. And they're just literally going up one step at a time. Oh, it's so funny. I need to watch those films. Arthur and Arthur 2 are just awesome. Right, Gillingham. very good that's that's very good that's 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 so bad it's actually quite funny and 303 decibels that's quite loud you would be deaf right breaking into Gillingham Unlocking doors. Yeah, if you haven't seen the interior of this, I'll give you a quick uh, shifting. Uh, it's really well done. Destination, Raynham. Okay, that, that's slightly broken. Apart from the fact it's very well done, that currently is slightly broken. Uh, oh, there we go. Next stop, Raynham. Okay, that's informative. Um, uh, you just appeared. Hello. Uh, wait until 18, 13 and 30 seconds. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, the fact this is here, just in case you don't realise that it's a hazardous area. I will sit in my seat and wait for further instructions. 
So Raynham, uh, the final stop for this route, uh, the final stop for this evening when we get there. It's a step. Five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't look very steppy. It looks looks rampy. Uh, right, lock doors. Two point nine miles to Raynham. Okay, good to know. The lighting in this, it does impress. Why is train make that noise? It's the motors. It's quieter. Yeah, I do like the 465. I must use that again soon. Although I think Midland Main Line is one we'll go back to. So tomorrow we'll bring this on the uh, London to Brighton and then down on the uh, East Coastway. Although we could do London to Brighton and then take it on one of the ones with the uh, the overheads. Does that mean we can do it on Paddington to Reading? Hmm. No. Well, that's not very good. Of course, it's old, isn't it? It's not set current time. Yeah, true. That's why it's HSTs and 166s. Damn it. Right, one mile to go to Raynham. Taking on Southwestern Main Line. So basically, just London to Brighton, then it's what I can do. into neutral I need to press the icon on screen I can't it's not pressable that one there we go Part of the fact I just went into emergency. I might be right. There we go. I don't have to wait for something after what you said yesterday. Thank you, Crispy. There you go. That shows you what you have to do if you do if you're an idiot like me.
Right, so Raynham. Our final stop for this evening. slightly speeding only a little bit oh god like there he's told you're intelligent of Jesus Christ I hate to say this crispy but you probably are you're probably more intelligent than you believe you believe you are I surprise myself sometimes I'm too nice is my problem and that needs to stop uh, all right unlock doors crispy has hidden depths uh, yeah there are nine platform zeros I think in the UK something like that Well, it doesn't get me anywhere being nice. <laughs> so I need to stop being nice. There we go. Uh, another couple of trips up and down the uh, southeastern high speed in the uh, 700. Uh, so tomorrow we'll attempt to take it somewhere. Uh, London to Brighton certainly will be the case. Uh, and then next week we'll come back and do uh, maybe something we haven't done uh, in a while. Maybe do Midland Mainline again. Uh, we haven't been on that uh, since it released, basically. Um, so we'll come and do some Midland Mainline. Um, maybe some like go back down to West Cornwall local. I could pretty much spend all my time just doing the UK routes on this because they are so so good, um, excluding Edinburgh to Glasgow. Well, it's a good route. It's just a, not a very good train. Um, I even like some of these German stuff. Maybe we should go back and do the Nitztor barn. Isn't that the one with the German pacer? That was really nice. Let's maybe do some of that again as well. Um, but there we go. Uh, we will end there. I will be back tomorrow night then for some more of this. Uh, and then Thursday night we've got some uh, OMSI doing some driving for the bus company. Uh, Friday some golfing with idiots in multiplayer. Saturday night uh, something. Uh, and then Sunday afternoon back on the farm. So lots of stuff coming up uh, this week. Uh, next week, pretty much a Monday to Friday. No, maybe Monday. Depends. Uh, certainly a Tuesday to Friday schedule next week. Uh, maybe doing something next weekend. Uh, and then uh, who knows going forward? I don't. Uh, so there we go. Thanks a lot in chat for keeping me company for the last couple of hours. Uh, and to these people as well. Don't go. Well, you got here late, Crispy. That's your fault. Uh, thanks to the moderation team for doing nothing, for Justin Bieber, superfan, and Kat for following, and Stokey for resubscribing. Uh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and to Skippy for resubscribing between uh, streams. Uh, there we go. I'll be back uh, 6 p.m. ish tomorrow night to do some more 700 fun. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching.